Hello everyone, I'm Sayukta Saxena. Welcome to this brand new series uh, about Bijuisms. I already posted the teaser on my Instagram. So we will be uh, basically revisiting the Bijuisms in this series. Uh, uh, Bijuisms, uh, I mean breathe, focus, enhance, embellish, uh, take one stroke at a time, create, discover, uh, so many of them. Uh, things that we tend to forget as we, uh, you know, go ahead with our Zentangle practice. And it is worthwhile revisiting them once in a while, right? So Biju being the official mascot, brand mascot of Zentangle, he keeps repeating these things, but we tend to forget. So let's make Biju flashcards in this series, wherein we will be revisiting what Biju says. And I will be mainly focusing on one or two tangles basically mocha and probably one or two more tangles to support mocha right so that will be our plan of action so each of these flashcards will bear a bijuism and this is uh, drawn basically using the latest technique that Rick and Maria came up in the project pack 16 or 12 days of Zentangle wherein they put some water on the paper and then let it you know uh, absorb the water and the paper comes up and has this nice <coughs> uh, lift to it right so and then you can use it for tangling for writing anything I'll do that process once again for you but you can always watch that video or the project video also right so let's get started and uh, Basically, I have prepared these flashcards. Uh, my daughter uses flashcards. So these are, uh, I'll let you know the size. Uh, I have a ruler with me here. So basically, it is about 14.5 uh, uh, centimeters by uh, 9.5 centimeters. Yeah, so that's the size of these flashcards, 14.5 by 9.5. And uh, I'm going to be using this. Uh, a few more things that you would require. If you have watched the series, uh, I'm sorry, the project pack, you would already be knowing or be aware. So it's an earbud and some water and uh, this scoring tool that they have used uh, in the project pack also. And I think I've used it earlier also in my session on frames, right, ornate frames. So what I'm going to do is uh, use my pencil and just carve out a oval somewhere in the middle yeah uh, an oval shape just to write the bijuism that we want or that we will be working on right and then I'm going to be using my scoring tool and going to press hard over this pencil oval that I've drawn yeah, so need not be perfect, just a rough oval for reference. So I'm pressing this tool really hard, trying to separate this enclosed portion. And my surface is also not that hard, it's a little spongy. Yeah. Now that we have used this tool and marked this section where we will be writing our bijuism, right? So I think it is uh, visible on video. I'm now going to use my bud and add some water over this section. Yeah. Do keep a spoon also handy, right? So I'm adding some more water, dabbing it. but not adding too much also so once I have added the water then you can keep the bud aside and now just pick up a spoon right and then press this section of the paper with the spoon like this yeah so if it is a hundred percent cotton there is no need to worry I think uh, the paper will not get damaged otherwise you may need to be a little careful with the paper yeah so try doing it in one direction then paper <coughs> will not probably get damaged we just need to lift the paper give it a little lift on the opposite side 
from the other side and that's why we are pressing it this side right so if you're not comfortable with spoon you can use any other device you can use that scoring tool also you can use your hand your fingers your nails whatever is comfortable yeah I think that's enough yeah so there is already a lift here right so I'm going to add a little more pressure not much yeah I think that would be sufficient so just to re-emphasize this once more yeah and then leave it like this and give it two minutes and then we start tangling right away yeah yeah so I think the center has kind of dried up and it you can see how it has come up a little so we can highlight what we are writing going to be writing yeah so let's leave that section first and tangle around so what as I mentioned we will be using more of mocha and probably one or two tangles to support our mocha right so I'm just going to start with I think one fine outline or border to this section I'm using my PN here you can also use your O1 do keep your burgundy PN also handy because I may use two colors here right and if you have your watercolor pencils handy that would be nice so a dash of color would be a good idea as far as this flashcards are concerned yeah so I just kind of encircled it and now I'm going to start with my mocha right so we are going to play around with some mocha in these flashcards and explore more of it right so once I've drawn that I'm going to add these stripes inside just like the way we draw in gorgeous yeah so I just drew one cycle of mocha yeah one and now I'm adding these gorgeous like stripes inside yeah and probably ink it so we'll just play around with mocha no pre-planning here nothing just few ideas in the mind and we'll see how they turn up while we draw our flashcards yeah So just patiently fill up these stripes as if there is a gorgeous inside your mocha. probably one last one here hidden somewhere just going to retrace this part of my yeah and now you can add some lines with weight in this section like this 
right just going to redo the line yeah so now so I'm now going to build upon my mooka so add small little things to add to its look something like this yeah you can call it crescent moon you can also ink these smaller u shape that i have drawn inside if you wish to we'll see probably we will yeah <clears throat> let's alternate pen so I'm going to use my brown pen here if you have burgundy pen fine otherwise you can use your brown pen also since I need a finer nib here so I'm going to be using my brown just add some orbs here Yeah. And then inking the small little space inside with my brown pen only. right so if you want you can add one more aura like this yeah so let us now move further so now we'll add something here, probably some flux. Yeah, again add an aura moving on to second mocha this time probably three curls right so now again we can add something like a leaf shape over our mukha yeah here again we can add some droplet kind of shapes like this yeah <clears throat> inside we can add aura And again you can add another shape inside the leaf and ink it so be patient take one mocha at a time do something different with it 
try combining tangles with mocha to enhance the look of mocha yeah so I'm going to fill in this with brown Yeah, so you can also add a dot above in this space. Just like that. So, again adding an aura yeah then extending our mocha a little more this time probably mocha sprouts Yeah. With the ruffle behind it. Adding an aura inside. Right. You can add a small one here. Again, you can add a mocha here also. Mocha being used as a filler here. Smaller ones. To fill in space, yeah. So let us now add some color. You can also draw once with black and then go back and add colors I'm doing both the things at the same time so that we know then and there if we want to add something else yeah so I'm not planning anything yet, just building on whatever is coming to my mind at that point of time. Just concentrating that uh, I'll be more dealing with mocha and less of other tangles. That's the only focus. Otherwise, just going with the flow, going with what is coming to the mind at this point of time the small little spaces we can always come back to them and see if we want to add something else yeah so it would be a nice idea to ink this also
so done with that now let us add some gorgeous since we have not added it for some time now sitting here cozily with the mukas so we already know how to draw the pattern gorgeous I am drawing it again in front of you so one section again an aura again another section kind of onion shape again one section aura again one more section yeah so you can add as many as you feel like then it's a good idea to ink these sections so switch to brown or you can add some orbs some inking is always a good idea so the broader sections I'm just going to ink it and later if you want we can add some dots or something else to embellish it more let's keep it simple right now so just fill up these broader sections one by one with your brown pen or burgundy pen whatever is handy inking part you can comfortably enclose a caviar here right so once we are done with that again now again time for mocha so we have this section so we can this shape is nice for mocha again we build up on our mocha like this so let's draw some unfold ones so they would cross each other like this again going back right again going back so they will cross each other so just going with the spaces that I have right again add some weight it's always a good idea add some auras add some weight here and there and you can also add some hops like this yeah again add some weight here you can add some flux add some hops so tipple is always a saver just fits in anywhere and everywhere and with no grudges at all looks nice everywhere right so you can always add again some of these droplet kind of shapes that I have drawn earlier also and then ink it Yeah. so once we have inked it now we can go back and aura this entire section give it a nice and beautiful shape add one more aura right and I have added some orbs here and there which come pretty easy something like Bronx Cheers yeah and you can add that around this aura also so a little bit of inking here and there always adds so try giving a mix of tangles with inking and without inking right so done with that so let us start with mocha once again so this time probably we will again add some lines like these
Ja. Add one more mocha like this. Come back. Again, add one more like this. Come back. Add some flux. Add some weighting, rounding. Again. Some mocha sprouts. You can again add something. So just building on my mocha. Right? Again. Like this. Yeah, try adding some 3D finish at some places. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see small little spaces. What do we want to do with them? Yeah. So we haven't used 3D mocha actually. So we can consider that also. Right? Concern as far as 3D mocha is concerned. So just add some lines like these. lines from the above some more lines like these and then some like these right so again you can go back you can add some lines like these to give it a 3d effect then lines on the pod right again like this and then some lines like these right so that's 3d when you shade it and you can fill in the inner space with small little tipples and it will really look nice yeah so I added one more 3D mocha here, right? So just in case you want to see again how, so I'll just draw one more in front of you. A mocha with a board, then some lines like this, some coming from the top, like this, and then some from here. That's about it. Yeah. So let us now add some other tangles here. So I'm going to add some flukes here on my mocha. Yeah. So add some ink like this, just like cubine. right so this is how we draw the pattern cubine also and in flukes also you can either start first with the auras or you can add auras later like this again i introduce some inking to add that drama factor yeah and you can also add patterns like umbel. So 
Ambul also has some bold inking involved. You can add one highlight also in between. Like this. Crisscross curved arcs just like in a hollybog fashion. Right? So it looks really nice. You can fill up this space with umbul comfortably. Or you can fill it up with mocha only. Entirely up to you. Yeah. Right, so just inking involved, nothing else. Can add one here and then just ink the band. So moving on further, just added some petal shapes here in between my 3D mochas and just inking after adding an aura inside. Yeah. So now let us move further. I'm going to squeeze in a small baby mocha here add some orbs right so now a uh, crescent moon and mocha is also a very lovely combination so let us now introduce some crescent moons right to the inside and outside So just adding those humps on the outside and we'll do that in the inside also like this. Right. So let's just ink it in. So once we have inked the moons now simple process of adding auras to each of the moons simultaneously. Right, so I am doing both inside and outside at the same time. Right, again adding further auras. Yeah. Nice pattern looks nice inside your mocha also again filling up the inside yeah and then you can add more go on like this or just Add some dots like this, insert one or two orbs here and there. So add one more layer probably like this and then don't go till the ends. Probably just finish the aura like this. Yeah, you can add more here and then you can add more here yeah so that's again crescent moon inside your mocha and you fill up the space right 
again probably we'll enclose a gorgeous inside our mocha draw it in such a fashion that looks like so on the last section now and this portion I am again going to introduce some nice gorgeous sleeping with the mochas right so just add those bold sections with an aura in between so once you start drawing, it's just about placing tangles depending on the spaces that you have. I guess it comes with practice. And there is no particular way to learn or teach it. All zentangle patterns can be combined with each other but <coughs> generally as you practice more and more you will have a better idea as to which tangles go a little better with each other yeah <laughs> so that's we can have one more layer here like this Right, so one more gorgeous I have drawn on the other side, so I'm just going to ink that one also. Yeah, so done with the gorgeous inking and a little weight here and there a little aura depending on whatever spaces are left aura comes handy as a filler again some more scope for mocha here yeah flux always comes handy add some more auras here yeah I think we are more or less done we'll see if we want to insert one or two things here and there <coughs> so I'm now going to pick up my brown pen and see for spaces where I can highlight with my brown yeah small little spaces left here and there which you can comfortably fill in with brown so just revisit whatever you have drawn and see if you can add browns here and there right so yeah so it's entirely your discretion where do you want to add whether you want to leave it like that only or you want to add so these small little spaces I'm just instead of leaving it white anyways I would ink it so why not with brown yeah So again, just revisit whatever you have drawn, fill in small little empty spaces with brown, in betweens your mochas, small little spaces here and there. Add in some orbs here and there with your brown pen.
yeah moving ahead I don't think we need anything here probably just a touch or you can fill in the in-between spaces with brown whatever you feel the space probably can be filled with brown yeah some browns here Just giving a touch at few places here and there. We can add some here. Yeah. So I'm almost finishing with my inking here with browns. Added brown wherever spaces were empty somewhere places in between my mochas between tangles so that there is a nice mix of brown and black yeah yeah I think we are more or less done Yeah, so let us now move on to shading, right? Or before that, we can do one exercise. We can write what we want to write in between. So I'm going to use my brown identity pen, or you can use a black pen <coughs> and write focus. So as far as calligraphy is concerned, I'm sure you can do a better work. I'm just writing. In a very ordinary way. Yeah. So I've written focus here. And probably I will add some outline with my black So just use your skills here, write it the way you wish to, this is just an idea. So I did that because I want the rest of the section gold. So I have gold watercolor, you can also use gouache paint, whatever is easily available with you. right? So I am going to be using my gold watercolor. Here it is and I will just add gold to the rest. I'm just dabbing color here and then I'd probably use a finer brush to yeah and then you can spread it with your finer brush so just using my finer brush here to spread the gold.
Krishna. I think that's about it. Yeah. So done with that exercise, let us now move on to shading our tile, right? So starting with the mukas. So take your time as you shade each of the mukas. Enjoy the process. Just a soft hand, don't blend too much. Yeah, on the flux. I'm adding graphite and blending at the same time. Small little pod heads, you need not add extra graphite. Some inking here. Places from where lines are emanating. Good idea to highlight. Yeah, gorgeous again the bottom. From where lines are starting. Again, the mocha pods. You can see how shading immediately adds to your drawing. So take that time, slowly add graphite to each. Again, some graphite here. Some at the starting. Some here. Here.
Yeah. So take your time and patiently add graphite to each of your mochas. Places from lines where lines emerge, where lines merge, they are the places where you generally add graphite. Because you want to highlight it. Yeah. Moving on to our gorgeous our mochas. flux. And crescent moon. Just blend the graphite softly. Make sure your whites and greys both are visible. Yeah. So my battery got drained. The phone is now out of service <laughs> actually i charged it a little and uh, uh, meanwhile what i did was added some embellishments here and there right so added some dots on these mochas with my jelly roll this gorgeous i'm sorry right so some dots here and there here 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 we had already done with our shading so a little more uh, redefining of a line around my uh, Bijuism that is focus and probably will give a little touch of white chalk here and there right so I'm just going to pick up my white chalk and add some chalk here and there to add that luster to my mukas and my gorgeous here and there right so just a little because we already have an embellishment there so adding some whites, chalk at places where we don't have graphite, right? So you can always add some graphite here inside and close this area nicely where you have added the tipple and then add the white chalk right so not much required we are already done little bit here and there that's it yeah if you want you can go on and embellish more small little dots just like these probably dots come very handy as far as embellishment is concerned yeah I have seen Maria use them very often <clears throat> and I also like to use them those who follow me would know by now I think so they come pretty handy as far as embellishment is concerned right I think we are done for today so this is our flashcard and I'll see you again, right, with another new flashcard. 
another new Bijuism flashcard, right? Till then, have a good time. Bye-bye. Stay safe.